那在阿斯达洛尔的山羊，巴青木，那是多了一个阿金山羊，阿金格罗。With the world shifting to remote working, we are spending more time than ever in front of our computers and smartphones. So it's likely that you are all too familiar with having a stiff neck and experiencing neck and back pain. It happens when your muscles weaken over time as you sit hunched over your smartphone or computer. When these muscles get weak and you try to turn your head, the joint no longer moves smoothly or gets caught on something, causing a pulled muscle. Your body remembers that pain, and because it wants to protect you, it will clench up the next time you want to turn your head. At this point, it can feel like you're unable to move, leaving you wondering what you did to hurt yourself. But sometimes it's just a routine muscle strain and pain because your neck has to support your head all the time. There are some common go-to remedies like using an ice pack or a heat pack, gently massaging the area, and having painkillers. In some instances, however, people use dangerous methods like cracking their necks to alleviate the pressure. And Master Mu Yu Chun, a healer from Beijing, strongly advises against this. Exercises that require you to pull your neck or chin, or twist your neck to the right or left, should be avoided at all costs, as they might provide temporary relief. But will have adverse effects in the long run. Instead, go in the direction your body wants to. That means your head reaches to the sky. So any massages that gently pull your head upwards will be much better for you. Next, do require massages from time to time, but twisting it will only hurt it. Start by placing your hand firmly on your head, but take care not to apply too much pressure. The idea is to first level you and give you some stability before treating your neck. This is ideally the position to be in when giving yourself a neck massage. Watch how Master Mu Yu Chun demonstrates this. He places a hand on her head before giving her a massage, which keeps her head in place. When he removes his hand from her head, her neck becomes vulnerable, and those repeated jerks can pull a muscle. This is called metabolism. Essentially, your internal energy spins like a wheel, and you are simply channeling it in a way that forms a circle to direct that energy to the pain point. If you ever find it difficult to turn your head, place your hand on your head without applying pressure. It will automatically make it easier. At that point, you may massage the back of your neck with consistent pressure, gradually moving your hand higher. This action disperses the blood and allows for much better circulation, along with opening up any blocked channels in your head. As you massage your nape, slowly switch your hands on top of your head. Don't let go. Just switch in one fluid motion and continue rubbing your nape with the other hand. Keep this up for a few seconds, and soon your neck will feel much lighter. This action restores proper blood flow and allows normal functioning of your nervous system, which is why you will feel less pressure in this area. This is not a permanent cure. Even if you feel good after this exercise, it's too early to assume everything's fine. That's because your meridians haven't met yet. What are meridians? Simply put, a meridian is an energetic highway in the human body. Meridians allow the flow of energy, also known as qi, and they exist in corresponding pairs, with each having multiple acupuncture points along the pathway. The upper body meridians include the heart, lungs, pericardium, and san jiao. The last one runs over the back of the hand, wrist, and lower arm. And passes through the outer point of the elbow and upper arm up to the shoulder. From that point, it enters the chest and branches out, with the second branch running up the side of the neck, around the ear, and to the face. Any problems with the San Jiao meridian result in pain in the body's neck, face, and throat areas. So, if you feel relief at this point, it may only be because your blood flow has normalized, but the pain is not altogether fixed yet. In order to get rid of the pain completely, you have to identify certain points in your body that are responsible for your neck. Like this point in your hand, between the index and middle finger, which is the start of the San Jiao pathway. This point is the beginning of the road to good neck health. Massage this area in a circular motion and gradually move higher on the pathway. Put your chin to your arm like this and feel this area for your tendon. If it hurts around this area, it signals that there is in fact a problem with your neck. However, if you feel no pain, your neck is fine, and it just needed a little help to get blood circulation going. If after massaging these points you still feel pain. Try a different approach. Feel along this area at the back of your head for small bumps. Right here, you will feel small depressions. Go ahead and massage this area in a circular motion. Doing this will also help relieve headaches. Slowly move to the nape and feel for two tendons running down towards your back. Once you have identified this spot, massage it in the same way and ensure you don't apply too much pressure. Do this for a few seconds and then shift to the earlier method of using sweeping movements across your nape while incorporating more massages, like rubbing your head against the growth of hair. If problems continue to persist for weeks or months, it might be time to seek medical advice. You will know it's time to get a consultation if this pain radiates to the shoulders and flares up in the morning. Fever or weakness in the arms are other red flags that demand medical attention. In some cases, it could be a pinched nerve that you can't get to. Depending on the diagnosis, you might need medication or even surgery. Other times, a few sessions with a physical therapist will do. 
Certain exercises help strengthen shoulders and upper back muscles to support your neck and head better and reduce painful flare-ups. Physical therapy will often combine isometric and a range of motion exercises. Here, you tighten your neck muscles and push against an opposing force, like your hand. You will also have to perform exercises like rolling your shoulders, squeezing your shoulder blades together, and pushing your head against the headrest of a chair for 30 seconds. You may also be asked to practice specific yoga poses at home to open you up. These range of motion stretches will progressively relax and lengthen your muscles while making you stronger. Physical therapists can also perform traction, which makes the use of hands or special equipment to gently massage your neck muscles. If this works out to be a good option, you can get the equipment by prescription to perform your own neck traction at home. Just ensure you follow the doctor's instructions carefully. One of the other options offered is ultrasound treatment of sore tissues with high-frequency sound waves. This therapy hasn't been proven in research trials, but many patients say it brings them comfort and ease. Once you feel better, make sure you don't trigger the pain again by taking inventory of your posture and daily habits. Sitting at your desk and slouching over your computer, staring at your phone, straining your neck while reading or sleeping are all contributing factors to neck problems. By adopting certain habits into your daily routine, you can stop flare-ups at the source. This includes staying hydrated. The vertebrae in your neck have a spongy structure between them called discs, and these discs are made mostly of water. Drinking at least eight glasses of water a day keeps them pliable and strong. It is also a good idea to start carrying backpacks instead of purses as backpacks ensure a more even distribution of weight across your whole body. Carrying a purse or briefcase on one side for long periods of time can put unnecessary strain on your neck. Your sleeping posture will also have an effect on your neck health. Doctors recommend sleeping on your back or your side, but never on your stomach. This is because when you sleep on your stomach, you end up twisting your head to the right or left for hours at a time and wake up with a sore neck. If you've seen a professional about your neck pain, you may be recommended a soft neck collar. This will relieve discomfort for a while, but take care not to use it for a long time, as the constant support can weaken your neck muscles. But most importantly, minimize the time you spend on your phone. Using your smartphone causes you to look down with your head and neck in a flexed forward position. This posture puts a great deal of stress on your bones, joints, and ligaments. And the human body simply isn't designed to spend long hours in this position. Putting your phone away, or just holding it in a way that keeps your chin parallel to the ground, is the best change you can make to help your neck health in the long run. Many of the treatments and techniques discussed here should help with neck pain. However, these will be ineffectual if you maintain poor habits that cause flare-ups. Sometimes neck pain can last even after treatment, depending on the cause. But if you treat it well, the pain should disappear quickly. But if you fail to change the habits causing you pain, it will last.